Hello and welcome to the Bonfire Project Update. My name is Andrew and I have Jason in the room with me today. G'day Jason, how are you? Hey, how's it going everyone? And uh, let's run through the project update that we have for you. Uh, we're going to go through a number of items today. Um, we, I'll try and keep it as brief as possible and to the point. Uh, we're going to do a quick review of Bonfire and some of the things that we've, we've done and achieved and where we've been. We're going to go through a few of the challenges that we face at Bonfire at the moment and throughout the, the project. Uh, we're also going to go through potential solutions to that challenge. And then we're going to run through some next steps uh, from there. So before we get too much further, let's just jump through and have a bit of a talk about some of the things that we have done as a team, as a project to date. So obviously Bonfire launched uh, towards the end of April. Um, there were a few challenges very early on, and then the community took over uh, about, I think, a week into the actual launching of that. Around the middle of May, we saw an all-time high with a very uh, aggressive crypto market at that point in time. Uh, a little bit further on into the start of June, we released bonfire.name, which amassed uh, about 20,000 people who signed up for some of our um, what social and uh, other NFT marketplace uh, functions of our roadmap at that time. Uh, we also started to then build out that ecosystem uh, beta, as I think most of us have accounts for at bonfire.name. And uh, we did a full website redesign uh, in July. So there are a number of things that we'd achieved at that point. And uh, looking a little bit further forward, at the start of August, we released the Bonfire app uh, token tracker, which was a really exciting project for us, a really strong development. We we have 20,000 people using that app right now, which is a, a, a substantial number by anyone's language. And it's something that the whole team and community should be very proud of. Looking further ahead, you know, we've got some interesting things, uh, you know, have, that have happened. And, uh, you know, as I said, there's a few challenges as well along that particular path. So let's jump into that. We do have a challenge with a disproportionate distribution of tokens. So with we have uh, a particular entity or hold who has a substantial number of tokens in the project. And you know, we've tried to work through a few challenges um, around that and, and a couple of negotiation aspects to potentially have some of that uh, you know, bolted to, um, I guess, for the safety of the community in the project. And that, that has been unsuccessful to date. Um, but that's okay. We have, uh, you know, I guess, worked through a number of challenges in that aspect. But looking forward, we also have a token box and a tax issue at the moment with uh, Bonfire Token. And that is that it has a 20% tax effectively uh, within it, which means that when you purchase, you're taxed 10%. And when you sell, you're taxed 10%. And obviously, that can be a bit of a challenge, particularly with a, a utility roadmap. Um, we also have a renounced contract. So that renounced contract means that we cannot make any changes. We can't move it. We can't do anything with it. We can't, um, I guess, resolve things like a, a B and B exploit that has been, uh, you know, found some time ago and is actually working against a number of other tokens in the space. Um, and, you know, that's a, a bit of a challenge for us. And uh, you know, something that, of course, because it is a renounced contract, we we just can't do anything uh, with that, unfortunately. I think, Jason, I might get you to run through the, the other ones there. Yeah, sure, Andrew. So um, obviously it's no surprise, uh, you know, with this current, uh, the way the contract has been built, uh, there's, there's no developer wallet. Uh, and this has been a major issue for us, um, you know, developing anything that that we want utility base or uh, you know creating innovation uh, for uh, for this project um, and ultimately the last two things um, when you have a lock liquidity uh, when you try to resolve uh, the um, you know the renounced contract or even the developer uh, wallet makes it extremely hard uh, for uh, for us to um, you know be uh, again uh, to to we've we've seen it currently you know with uh, pancake swap where they've 
migrated towards v2 and the uh, ux and ui you know for uh, the uh, the user uh, purchasing this token uh was um wasn't wasn't ideal uh and um having it in in v1 is is uh is is a, is a no go um and this brings up to the last point which is it cannot be swapped because it is uh locked we can't we can't migrate anyone anywhere um because of the liquidity even if we 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 um we airdrop or we create like a a mirroring of of the current holding of everyone it won't be backed by any liquidity um so this is obviously a major challenge um going forward thanks for that jason so obviously there's a few challenges there um and you can actually read through that probably a little bit more in detail here uh if you'd like uh, i won't go through all of that right now but um yeah there's there's a couple of challenges that we face but in saying that we would like to look at a new chapter for the bonfire token um, and this is a new chapter it's not to say that bonfire is dead bonfire is alive and well it will do very well it's a comfortable product we have some fantastic opportunities ahead as a team and as a project but we believe that introducing the ember token to you today is the right path forward for some of our roadmap and utility aspirations We've spent the last four to six weeks uh, working through and understanding some of the challenges around where we are at the moment, and the last few weeks working through how the best option, the best path forward is, um, you know, with a potential token like Ember. So, what is Ember? Um... The first thing I'd like to um, note and uh, to tell is that this this ember has never been reactionary to anything. It's something we've been working on for months, um, and um, this is what we want to present to you today. So we've been working extremely hard at you know creating the best uh, tokenomics uh, and collaborating with economists world-class uh, uh, solidity developers uh, for for our smart contract um, and some of these aspects um, are extremely important like fair vesting in a, you know a, a distribution that you know at the end of the day will will include things that weren't including in the past uh, like the dev wallet the marketing wallet um, the fair vesting is is something that we feel is uh, is truly uh, a first on on the on the Binance smart chain, uh, uh, and um, it's it's something that will uh, bring security and trust in this token um, that you know nobody's going to sell uh, impulsively um, uh, in in an instant and affect the price. So we felt that was absolutely imperative. Um. Thanks, Jason. And I just want to reiterate that this is the same team. This is the same project. This is what this team is working on. We have run through some challenges with you. And this is the best way for us to rectify these challenges is to effectively introduce a new utility token to the family. Um, and it's an important thing that we're all on the same page with this. We've uh, also got a multi-token app uh, coming up, which will allow multiple tokens to be able to use on that app. And it will be multi-network as well. So uh, initially it will be BSC, Binance Smart Chain Network, but that will also take in Matic and Ethereum networks as well. So that you'll be able to track apps on all three of those networks. Um, and it will be a tracker for now but we're already doing a lot of research into the wallet aspects of that so that once we've earned some trust around it, that tracker being a much broader product than we have now for the, the bonfire version one tracker um, we want to go through and have a conversation deeper around the way that that will operate um, and it's really important for us to note as well that with the things that we're doing moving forward 
you will be able to use Bonfire token and you will be able to use Ember token within the products and projects that we put out. Um, Bonfire is a great token as a HODL token, a reflectionary token, and Ember will be the, the primary token with no taxation attached. And I'll get, uh, we'll run through that shortly. Um, obviously, to, you know, that, that there's some real benefit there in being able to utilize that as a transactional token. Um, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the last bit is, is, is the important part, you know, um, and this is how we see uh, moving forward uh, is, uh, is critical. Um, and we feel that uh, the, the situation isn't ideal um, in regards to, to, you know, the current uh, contract and uh, the disadvantage uh, that we've uh, put forward. But we feel that it was important for us that each and every one of you that's been holding for all these months um, that have access to this pre-sale, you know, and this is going to be, you know, exclusive to all of you. Um, uh, there's a snapshot that will, uh, that has been made actually, uh, of every single person that is currently holding uh, bonfire and uh, you will have the privilege and the advantage uh, to be part of this pre-sale um, before everyone else. It's not going to be accessible to friends and family. It's really going to be uh, each and every one of you will have access uh, to this pre-sale um, that will go on potentially, you know, in the next couple of weeks, hopefully before the end of the month. This is when we will uh, do our first, um, you know, project launch um, live uh, where we'll um, announce uh, the actual token and everything that comes with it. Thanks, Jason. Really looking forward to that. And as you said, this uh, genuinely is the best option that we have available. And we've we've consulted numerous experts in this space. Uh, and with a locked um, contract, a locked liquidity pool, um, you know, and we do have a market cap that is slowly uh, coming down, we believe that this is the best way to bring value back to the project as a whole. Um, and there's a few things here, obviously, on the screen. I'm not going to go through that again verbatim, but you'll be able to have a look and have a read through those items uh, in your own time. So we've already touched on the team briefly. Uh, we've had a few conversations, obviously, over the past you know week or two uh, around with team members, around how we're going to do this and what we're doing and the work that we've been doing in the background at the moment around generating the smart contract for the Ember token. And I think it's important to know that everybody on our team is on our team. This is the best path forward. It's not the easiest path forward, but it is the best path forward. And I know that there are some elements of this that will um, come a, a shock, maybe a surprise, um, but this is the best path forward for us to provide value into the project as a whole from the perspective of Ember, from the perspective of Bonfire, and to try and lift to the capacity, to the ability that we know that we are capable of. We have a really strong group of people on the screen right now. And uh, I'd like to thank all of them for their ongoing abilities within this project. Um, all of our core team who you see, all of our mods, all of the community members, all of the community people, and all of the people who have held on to your bonfire tokens. And I see it in the Discord, in the Telegram, every day that there's confidence in what we're going to do. And I understand that this is a challenging time. There's going to be some thought and consideration put into this process that we're going through right now. But in the long term, this will be seen as the right way, the difficult way, but the right way for us to proceed um, with the challenges that we've got. And we want to make sure that this project can really propel forward. And, and thank you, Jason, for going through what you just did around that exclusive um, pre-sale opportunity for bonfire holders only. Uh, we really do invite you to take up that opportunity uh, to work with us around that. Jason? So the next step for us is, as I mentioned earlier, um, there's a few weeks in between today and uh, the first um, 
you know, uh, presentation that we'll be doing on the roadmap uh, and how the actual pre-sale is going to work, um, how you'll be able to uh, claim this uh, privilege um, and interact with our, you know, new contracts. Um, and, uh, but one thing's for sure is um, we've been through an amazing journey together uh, and going forward, we, uh, we absolutely would cherish having, you know, uh, as many of you with us, um, obviously. Ember is, is something that rises from the fire. Um, but if you take a few embers, you know, the fire still remains. Um, and ultimately, uh, you know, uh, from our genesis um, going forward, uh, potentially there's going to be other embers uh, that will rise from this uh, bonfire. Uh, so, um, yeah, these are the next steps for us. Thanks, Jason. And ultimately, it will be up to us to each individually do our own research and work out what is the right, um, I guess, direction individually for each of us. Um, do you wish to consider purchasing Ember? Um, are you wishing to consider, uh, you know, moving in both directions with Bonfire and Ember? We, we have a deflationary reflection-based token. Uh, we have a utility token. And we think we have some really strong deliverables that we'll be putting to the market shortly. And uh, the Ember token with what it represents from a tokenomics perspective, um, from a, a vesting perspective, uh, and some other areas around that, it has a dev wallet. So it will allow us to be able to operate and function to develop and roll out the the products, the items, the, the things that we want to see as a, as a group, as a community. Uh, and that's a really important thing. And so I genuinely hope that you continue to follow us, you continue to stay with our project, and uh, we want to make sure that we do not let you down in the long term. There will be ups and downs, there will be challenges, and that's just the way that crypto is, that's the way that the world is, the business is but we have gone through and we've consulted the best minds to produce uh, the direction that we're moving in. And uh, we wanna thank you for being a part of what we are doing um, because it's very special to, to all of us. So it's not goodbye by any extreme. Um, it's just hello in a different language for now, but we will be around, uh, Jason, myself and others. And uh, we're always open to answer some questions and to have a chat but we're quite positive and bullish around what the future will be there might be a little bit of questions and challenges in the short term but in the long term um, we really hope that you'll uh, be on the journey with us so thank you so much for being involved today jason thank you as well and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon thank you